Hi everybody, it's on the show again. Now, a lot of people in this country hate Hillary Clinton. Uh, it's not just that they disagree with her policies or think she's dishonest. They have a visceral, unreasoning hatred for her. Not that she's ever done anything to them. I mean, uh, they never met her. When she comes on TV, they change the channel. So the only thing that they actually know about her is what they are told by people like Alex Jones and Rush Limbaugh or Sean Hannity. Now, I don't know if Vladimir Putin hates Hillary Clinton, but I do know that he doesn't like her. And he doesn't like her because he can't fool her, he can't charm her, and he can't push her around. When Dmitry Medvedev, Putin's predecessor, was president of Russia, Hillary believed that the U.S. and Russia could have good relations, and there was a lot of talk about resetting the relations between Russia and the U.S. But as soon as Putin came into office, all that talk stopped. Hillary was very quick to understand exactly who Vladimir Putin was and to know that U.S.-Russia relations were not going to take a good a turn for the better. So Putin doesn't like her. In fact, he's a little bit afraid of her. She's one tough old bitch and if she's elected president, she will be more aggressive about trying to contain Putin than Obama has been. And relations between Obama and Putin have been pretty frosty. Now, I don't know if Putin likes Donald Trump. One time they appeared on a TV show together and Trump bragged about what good buddies they had become. But, since Putin taped his segment from Moscow, and Trump taped his from New York, uh, they didn't exactly hang out together. I don't think, at least there's no record of Trump and Putin meeting on any of uh, Trump's business trips to Russia, but Putin he might be an evil motherfucker, but he's no dummy. And he's taken the measure of Trump and come to the conclusion that this is somebody he can manipulate. First of all, Trump has millions of dollars in financial ties to people who are very close to Putin. And because all you have to do is say something nice to Trump and he'll follow you around like a puppy. So Putin has made a huge effort to get Trump elected. For those reasons, and also for the simple reason that having an idiot leading the United States would be bad for us and good for him. So if you haven't voted yet, just remember when you go to the polls that Donald Trump is the man that Vladimir Putin wants you to vote for. Thanks for listening.